Alright Geeks, we're doing some great giveaways on the channel, so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you what to do and how you can win. Yo, it's Apocalypse, but not Apocalypse, Apocalypse. It's the Age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse. Alright, forget it. Alright, forgive me if I go a little bit quickly here because I'm really excited about this. I, when they announced this figure, I was going crazy inside. And the fact that I got it now, I'm ready to get it open. Alright, so you see from front, he looks dope. He's got an extra head, he's got a skull, and he's got an extra, was it one extra hand? Oh, alright, don't know what that's about. Don't know what that's about. Alright, so nice little portrait of him on the side. Then you got that mean grimace picture on the back. Marvel's Apocalypse. Apocalypse launches an offensive against humankind in pursuit of a world where mutants rule and only the strong survive. And again, they mess up the bio on the back. There's no way to know that that's the age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse from that description. And Portrait is the same on the other side. All right, he looks gorgeous in his cage. Look at him, look at him. And so he has a double cage because his cape, or his cowl, whatever you want to call it, is there and it's blocking the booty shot. Age of Apocalypse, Apocalypse, booty shot. All right, so first up we got his cape. As you can see right here, it's the part that goes on his shoulders. It is flexible rubber, bendy, but it's not super soft. So it does have a little bit of rigidity to it. And here's a close-up of the accessories. You've got his, I don't know if it's grimacing, but his scowling, not happy head. Then you have the one extra fist. Thanks, Hasbro. They give us one open hand for holding the skull, but it would be nice to have two open hands. Maybe grab another figure. Then we have some poor misfortunate soul skull. Somebody that Apocalypse obviously crushed. And if you look at the skull, you'll see it's got some nice details on it. Look at that. So it's got bashed in in the back. We know how this person probably died. All sorts of cracks and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good, Hasbro. Kudos. He's your king to be. <laughs> look at him, man. Dude, he's dope. No complaints. Review over. Geek out. Uh, apologies straight up. I do have um, both other Apocalypse baths, the Toy Biz and the Hasbro one from a couple of years ago. And I actually think I have um, the Toy Biz single figure release. But they're all not unboxed, so I can't do a comparison right now. But I promise I will come back and do a comparison between all of them at a later date when I get them cracked open. I need to get moving. Man, that is a face that only the Four Horsemen can love. Look at that. And this face ain't much prettier. All right, so taking a look at the top of his armor, you see it's a really clean paint job. These shoulder flaps do move. You see the paint job carries over to the back, really smooth. Um, the body paint itself is kind of that bowling ball, marblish paint. It's really, 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 really subtle, so you have to look close to notice it. Same for the paint on the legs, really smooth. I don't see any blemishes or bleed over. And of course he has that awesome serial number there. Can't do without that. Gotta love it. All right, look at his gauntlet from the side. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a power thing. I'm just now reading Age of the Apocalypse. I missed it in the 90s, so who knows what that does. But it does look cool. Same on the other side. There is a little nick on the yellow paint on mine, though. Ooh. All right, so if you weren't paying attention, this is the alternate head that I did swap out. Um, this red cowl here, or this red 
guard, it does come off. So you can get a 360 without it, but with it on, you really can't unless you really want to scratch up your figure. And notice that it has pegs here to stick in the holes on his shoulder, so that way it'll stay in place. All right, so that neck guard is real tricky to get back in those holes, so be careful. All right, so looking down, you get some serious turtle action there. Oh, looking up is good. Yeah. Man. That is really good range. No tilt at all. Disappointing, to say the least. All right, so arms do not get that high, and it's not the shoulder pads blocking it. They just, oh, oh, sorry, I got one more click out of it. Let me check this other one. All right, yeah. All right, so there we go. Now I'm telling the truth. That's about as high as they get. Can't get this one to click up more. Do get the 360 bicep swivel. No forearm swivel at all. 360 on the other side. His arms are nice and stiff. You get lots of clicks on the way down, so it's gonna be really good for posing. Too bad he doesn't have another open hand to hold up another figure. Let's check out the wrists. Let's see, you get a full 360 on the wrist. It does bend down and bends back up. So you get three clicks. So you got a single joint on the elbow, but the range is limited by the bicep and these forearm guards, they meet right here. So you don't get a lot of range there. Abdominal crunch is in effect. You know, he's got cramps. Uh, that's him straight up. And woof, that's him doing the willy way back. I did discover a big paint chip that wasn't there. Well, I didn't see it before. Maybe I did it. All right, so there is no rocking at the waist, but you do get full 360 swivel. Um, it's loose, but does have clicking points. All right, he gets a decent bend. So if you want to kick him in the butt, you can. Full 360 thigh swivel. Nice paint on the legs, I like that. It's not too stiff, but feels good. This one's, the right leg is a little bit stiffer. All right, so he does have a double jointed knee and uh, the joint is very smooth, kind of hard to describe. It had a nice click to it, but it wasn't tight or loose. It just kind of glided, I really like that. So you can get dynamic poses out of that. Go on to the left leg. Yep, nice and smooth too. Like that. He's almost kicking his butt. Uh, I know I'm doing the camera a lot closer than I usually do in my videos. I'm trying to give you guys a close up of the paint and how it looks. So I'm focusing more on each part as opposed to pulling back so you can see everything. You'll see everything at the end. All right, so the feet, you can see toes do point straight down. They do not go up at all. They just meet with the boot. Not sure why you'd have Apocalypse point his toes up anyway. And there's a split range. Pretty good for a big guy. All right, here he is next to the most recent bass for a size comparison. Uh, the Game Reverse Wave Abomination and Sugar Man. So you can see that he's a lot taller than Sugar Man, but he's also a lot smaller both in girth and height than the Abomination Bath. There he is with the ever elusive Target exclusive Red Hulk. I hope you guys are able to find him. He's still hard to get out there. And there he is with Gray Hulk. 
This apocalypse figure should have been a little bit bigger. All right, so this figure is pretty close to perfect. Uh, only complaint I have is the lack of tilt in the head and the size. Apocalypse should be bigger, and this just shows how Hasbro skimps on a lot of the baths, because of course it's a retooling and repaint of the bath, but he should have been a lot bigger. Apocalypse is not small at all. But anyway, uh, you can just look at him and tell that he's a must buy if you're into any legends. I don't care what legend line you're into. If it's just MCU, you got to get this guy. All right, so stay tuned. I'm going to add some pictures of him and some action poses and pose next to other figures. So don't laugh at me. It's going to be my first try at photography. All right, so as always, thanks for the support. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And don't forget, this should be going up on Friday night. Tomorrow is the drawing for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So if you're interested in being part of that, make sure you meet all the criteria before tomorrow so you don't miss out. All right, till next time, geeks. Geek out.